Hey everybody, how's it going? You can't answer me because you're not watching. Um, maybe someday you'll watch the archived version of this and then you can answer me, except not really because then I won't be here. It's Saturday. <laughs> um, I am back from my trip to get my new boobs. And I want to pick up where I left off in this game. I'm going to be adjusting myself a lot because my back is killing me. So be prepared for that. It's hot in here. It's always hot in here. Okay. We're doing stuff. <laughs> I can't take off all my clothes or I'm going to get kicked off of Twitch, so apologies. You should have watched me last night on my uh, other page. I was streaming topless over there. I have my screens backwards today, so it's kind of a pain for me to look at the, um, comments. Drink more water? Bam. I got, look, this is like the size of a boob. <laughs> Everything's measured in boob. Actually, um, this is 1,500 mLs, so my boobs are actually almost thousand more mls than this 800 more mls to be precise moves about a one and a half of these just kind of crazy I have hair in my mouth um, this water bottle is also leaking like crazy I have a lot of things going on. I have coffee, I have a video game, I have water, comments, I'm not reading things. Hello. It's kind of evening where I'm at. It's 4.12 in the afternoon, which is kind of a bummer that it's um, already that late on Saturday. I wish it was earlier. All I did today was I woke up. I've been up early as fuck. I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and couldn't really go back to bed. But I continued to lay in bed until like 10.30. So I'm like, my whole day got wiped out there. And then I went out to breakfast. Well, breakfast at 1 o'clock. Oh yeah, I forgot that they're straight up vampires. Um, so yeah, had breakfast. And now I'm here. Nice. <laughs> what, what 80s celebrities did you meet? I probably wouldn't know any of them. I'm bad at the 80s.
Okay. Mary is not feeling very good. All right, so we now know what we're dealing with. I feel like that's always like kind of the end of these games. So it's like, okay, the monster has been fully introduced. You know, we we know what the problem is. Okay, I already saw this. My boobs hurt. Um, just FYI. God, there's so much stuff. I didn't really want to progress things already. Yeah, I don't know who those people are. But that's to be expected. I don't know who most people are. Where the fuck did this guy come from? You watch your tone and man gain control with me. <laughs> um, my boobs are about the only thing that's up right now. Um, that's really all I've been doing. Getting boob jobs and recovering from boob jobs. And working. I worked all week long. That was pretty shitty. Treehouse of Horror Marathon is going terribly. <laughs> um, once I left to go to Florida, it came to a halt, and it hasn't really picked back up. I think I've watched maybe one or two episodes since I got back in town, but I think I'm on season like 10. So I have so many episodes left to go in the next couple of days. Thanks. Thanks for uh, finding me on Twitter and Twitch and following me in both places. I appreciate it. Um, season 11, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm around there, which that would be the 10th Halloween because there wasn't one the first year. That guy sucks. That guy's good. That guy sucks. Hold on. Um, recovery is going very well. Um, it's, it's been way better than my previous ones, I will say. Um, I didn't have the just horrible, um, days when I first, or, you know, my first 48 hours of my last boob job was awful. It was really, really bad. I was pacing around a hotel room in tremendous pain. And all I can think of is why this one hasn't been, I'm having doses of that pain, but... I only went half, you know, I only got 500 cc's this time, and the previous time I did 1,000. So, of course, the last time is going to be twice as bad, because I went twice as big. Um, so, yeah, not having that this time. But I have the ports to deal with this time, so I'm so thankful that she actually didn't... I was half-assed thinking that she was going to do, like, 800 or 1,000 cc's this time. I was hoping for it. I really was. But now that I'm going through the recovery process and I'm dealing with the port pain and just all around everything else, it's like, nope, I, I'll get fills. You know, I'm glad that she did what she did. They look really good. And um, she got them in, you know, fairly. I never took any painkillers. I only took Tylenol. Um, <laughs> thank you. Boopedia, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, Boopedia is basically, you just need to ask to be on it. Um, but, you know, it, you also need to qualify 
I guess, to be on it. So, I do that, I'd say. My lighting is off in here. I should be paying attention to this. Better or worse? I don't like streaming during the day because the lighting is weird. It's one benefit. I need you on the camera in case it gets blank. Winter. It's dark earlier. I hate that though. I hate getting dark early. So yeah, my boobs just feel so like. Well, they're definitely firm, um, you know, but it just it really feels like they are just like getting pressed against my ribs. This fucking guy. Kill him. Did I miss any prompts? I haven't been paying attention. I kind of forgot about the... The quick time. Okay, I gotta look forward. No... So clearly that guy's gonna get like eaten up by some vampires, right? Stream on cloudy days? Um, yeah, it's very nice out right now. It is sunny and like 80 degrees. I have the light shining like right on my screen though, um, which that's kind of annoying. I opened up my curtains a little bit to let some breeze in because I'm sweating, but um, I might have to close them. I like every character in this game, so I don't want to lose anybody. This game has the best characters out of most of these types of games I've played. Oh no! Fucking hate this guy. Let him die. Oh no. Well, I missed a quick time. I hope that that didn't um, ruin anything. Very upset.
Shit's about to get real in here. Wait. Rachel. 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 That girl. Y'all are about to be stuck inside of this room with the. Uh... Fuck. Oh shit, um, I, I saw that new Tales from the Borderlands, I didn't realize it was out. Right the fuck behind us. He was going to. He was going to cut the rope, but I told him not to. You good? Tim is <clears throat> this is House of Ashes. It is one of the Dark Picture Anthology games. Yeah, man. Get over yourself. That's the best you got. These people have very calm dialogue for the fight no, that they're in. Rich. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no colonel. Don't let I tried waiting, Eric. I really did. I'm sorry. But yes, this is Dark Picture Anthology's House of Ashes. There is a new one coming out next month. I forget what it's called, but I am excited because they keep getting better. You answer to my orders. It's too late. She can't be saved. You can't possibly know that. That's what I was thinking. Like, trust me, I'm a vampire. Please don't do it. My God, I'm so hot. She's having a bad time. I don't know how to read these uh, pages. It like shows you the people's, uh, you know, qualities and how they relate to each other. Um, Nick and Rachel, they've never met. Okay, whatever. This is very Detroit become human-y. Um, I feel like there's puzzles in Become Human. Um, there aren't in these games, and I prefer that. These games are really pretty much choose your own adventure with some quick times mixed in every once in a while. And I like that. I get frustrated with puzzles. It's actually why I stopped playing Become Human. Um, you're barely driving in these games. And I fine with that. These doors can't be that heavy. And when these games are bad, you can sit here, you know, and um, Mystery Science Theater 3000 them. <laughs> but I actually... I actually do enjoy this one. Hold the gate! I'll get the generator running! Hey man, we've been talking about that. Fuck 
That's all we needed. Is this place mine? Sure is. Weird. Weird. What is this? That was weird. I don't know if I was playing like with multiple people, would I have had something? I think that if I was like playing with multiple people there would have been a choice as to like who to control there. Dude, they don't respond to bullets. We've been over this. What am I missing? Oh, great. I paused it right during the thing. Yes, uh, Wolf Among Us 2 for sure. Very excited for Wolf Among Us too. Okay, no more pausing. I need to watch what I'm doing. to make some adjustments. Fire. This wasn't one of your reach. Well, great. Now I'm going to lose somebody. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Bullets! Mindful of the bullets! Do you have a gun? <sighs> you 
you do. Like, I keep wanting to look over and read comments and talk and stuff, but then all of a sudden, you know, you're shooting machine guns and setting off explosives and not tripping on things and kicking generators. Made you got one with you, kind of. Oh, this fucking guy. So if my team would have um, died, I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way. What could be a this wouldn't be playing out like this right now. Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. We have to help each other. I like this guy. It's the only way. It's his dumb friend. I might need to change my bra. What's he even doing? <laughs> Is he using his head? Oh, this bitch. Vampire. She's one of us. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, they don't like you, so that is not that helpful. You let the boxes in the hen house. But the first time I see someone like that, she will turn. We'll kill her then. She's got the same necklace as me. I gotta bring her along. I'm kind of hungry, which sucks.
You need to get that vest off her so she's like... <sighs> Stabbing the heartable. Well, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I ate just a little bit ago, though. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just being a fatty. I'm not actually hungry. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I have an appetite. But I just ate so much food three hours ago. So are we all going to die now? This happened to me in the last one of these I played, where I kept, like, everyone alive for the most part, and then just, like, in the last fucking 20 minutes, I lost everyone. be considered no uh crucifix sure i can't imagine a world in which that works i thought that maybe i'd stab him with it or something yeah that makes sense now he's dead i didn't think he would actually hold up a necklace all right we're, we're losing everybody. Yes, I do need to change my bra. My boobs hurt a lot. And I missed. Uh. Oh my god. All these hours in this game, keeping everybody alive, only to have them all... Die at the end. Bye. Great. Great, great, great. She's killing the guy I don't like. Probably should have got rid of her a long time ago, though. Why would you just leave her there? Like, why would you, like, watch her... I don't know how I could have saved her. I don't know if she was safe a bull. I feel like I did everything right. So the guy that I like most got carried away down a hallway. 
probably dead by now or something. Yikes! Okay. So just... Everybody dies, huh? Okay. Feels like I played this game totally correct. And, um... Then it felt like I did everything wrong in 30 seconds. Not sure how I feel about that. Is that my guy? Fuck yeah. He's the fucking coolest. Alright, so I got the one guy I like a lot. I got this guy still. He's cool. <clears throat> Eric and Rachel were kind of like... Annoying. Um, we're gonna just confront. I come in peace. Shit. It's on you. You people had an ambush, none of this would have happened. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. One Honestly, I'm surprised to see you in the face. Me too. Hold on to that. Kind of gay, but let's do it anyway. I don't know what lights behind me that's so bright. Ring light. Ouch. Sure, make me do all the triangling. I don't even know where my dog is. Well, fuck. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. This thing could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. Dude, you've fucking seen them. My brother once told me. Stop acting like.
Ah. That's cool. I'll be here or somewhere else. You know where to find me. Thanks for hanging out. Retro Palooza. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. It's a bloody head. It's Jim Dandy. Dun dun dun. All right, so there's really nothing else in here, huh? Okay. That's the tablet I looked at. That's the note that I read. All righty. Let's go. Heave ho. Maybe you need to switch it off. Well, fuck. Of course, we should have um, known to suspect the big hole in the middle of the room. Well, thank you. It's all like, here, let me get that for you. They know that these two are like probably everybody's favorite characters, so they paired them up. Now I need to worry about which one dies, or both, or neither.
Told you I'm a fucking vampire killer. Fuck Can I look around, please? Thank you. Did I miss anything? Nope. Same room. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. <laughs> My lips are dry. I hate it. Well, these are the cage things that that person was talking about. It's pronounced Michael Bay. If you want to stick a 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. I would have ended that sentence with stay away from me, though. I can't hear you. I'm looking at this picture. Whoa. Hey. Um. There's almost always something to look at. I find it weird that there isn't, but okay. This person got a C on their homework. How do you know? The saboteur has struck again. Sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped in those things. All around us, they shriek in the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointing towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down. Even if it's bringing it down on our own heads, they cannot be allowed out of here. Okay. Excuse me. <coughs> Anything? Nothing? Okay. Um, we got in the middle of the room here. Always the coffee mug on the clipboard. You guys, there's better things to use as a coaster, okay? Gross. Movement in the stomach. Well, let's not mess with that yet. Or should we? Did I already look at this? I don't remember. Yes, I did. It's a fucking game. Excuse me! I'm tired. My shoe's untied. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything. What's up? I'm good. Hanging out, playing video games. Trying to beat this one. I feel like I'm coming to the end of it. Maybe. My light is weird in here.
It is funny. You're right. Hilarious. Yes, it's the worst I was with earlier. Too stupid. I don't understand most things. <clears throat> Maybe like his wife would have wanted that or something. You know? Nice. I've been playing this game since the day it came out, like a year ago, and I still haven't finished it yet. So I started it, and then I stopped, and then I started it over again, and now I'm here. That seems toxic. Ninja Turtles come from here. I got some bad news for you. It doesn't turn out so well. Yeah, you're doing dumb stuff. You also have like no food, no water. Seems like Okay, so out of the people that I can keep alive, I've only lost one. Well, Salim can. I'm sad I lost one person, but it's not as bad as I thought. Really? 
Really? You're gonna break everything up with this shit? Uh, why wouldn't we just keep going? Why do you want to make me watch some three week previous relationship garbage? Um, <clears throat> I was considering changing my bra. I just unzipped it. I don't know if that's going to help or not. All right, I'm going to take a little break and figure out what's going on with my boobs because they're painful. And um, maybe I need to change into something else. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have a cookie. <laughs> I have a cookie on my boobs. Um, okay, I want to. The sun is starting to move, so I want to um, mess with my lights here. changed more than I expected. Okay, let me change.
just to have a little bit of something in the background. Um, this guy doesn't need to be so in my face anymore, I don't think. Sugar cookie. What's up? I'm going to make you watch me eat a cookie. It's one of those like cheap grocery store sugar cookies. That are actually like really good. Hello. I'm glad you could I'm glad you could join me for cookie talk. So I didn't change my bra. I said I was going to, but all I did was just make some adjustments. I think I'm in less pain now. I should have grabbed two. These are nice. Cookie. Sorry. <laughs> Cookie and almond milk. That's that's what I had just now. And I brought back vodka and um, some seltzer, so I might make a little drink later. Or now. Maybe now. My Halloween costume is on the way, so that's cool. Sorry, I'm taking a little break. Um, I mean, I won't get drunk, um, but I have certainly played this game or games like it drunk. It's best played, I think. Um, yep, <laughs> pulling out some shitty vodka out of a thing of seltzer. You know, you gotta make use of the tools you're given, and um. I brought my cookie back on my boobs because I didn't have any free hands. I didn't want to smash it up. So I made use of those. And then the rest I did like this. Anyway, um, yeah, you should play these games with friends. Play it on party mode or whatever the hell where you like trade the controller around and everybody get drunk. And it's a really good time. That's my suggestion. Even though I've only played these games until dawn... The Quarry and Dark Pictures Anthology, that series of games. I think I've only played some Until Dawn with other people. Otherwise, I've played all these games alone. Um, me and my ex, I think, played some of this. But oh, I think she just... Well, I don't know. Whatever. They're better that way. Do that and get drunk while you do it. It's a winning combination. I'm trying to like stay healthy. Um, my roommate is like sick as hell, and I don't want to get that. So I've been drinking very sparingly. I'm trying to drink a lot of water. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. Um, and that took me a long time to beat as well.
honestly, that might be the last game that I beat. It was the quarry. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's me. Seems like out here we were all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. Shut down women. I don't care. It's okay. You can talk to me. <clears throat> time flies, but also it's slow at the same time. It's confusing. Badly. That's how I'm dealing with it. You got your own problems. And whoever that was that sounded like a gold medal asshole. It was my husband. Holy shit, I'm so hot. Look at her adorable tiny little eyeliner wings. I don't remember what happened to this guy. Like, I don't remember when we last saw him. Eric is dead. Oh, nope. Rachel's infected. She's on her way out. What's going on in the game? Um, a lot of bad stuff. We were just like, got our asses kicked by all the bad guys. And now this piece of shit's on our tail. Seems to be like King Vampire. Probably a bad decision. I mean, regardless, that's a long fall. It's going to be a real pain in the ass getting back up there. Uh, yes. Um, most of these dark picture anthology games seem to deal with, like, traditional monster type of concepts. And um, this one is no different. And, yeah, it's kind of your typical vampire-y type of thing. I was too 
And yeah, I mean, they mostly murder you, but they also infect you. And she is infected. About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die no one is standing. And there's a lot of dumb love triangle stuff, which is really annoying and stupid. She's gone. Nope. Um, the ghost ship is Man of Medin. That is the first Dark Picture anthology game. So it goes Until Dawn, and then Man of Medin, and then Little Hope, and then House of Ashes. Well, no. Before this, no, House of Ashes, The Quarry, and next month is one I always forget the name of, but that comes out next month. Until Dawn and The Quarry are like proper games. They're longer, they're standalone. <clears throat> which this game's standalone too, but it's part of the anthology series, which these are all shorter. Oh, this one seems like I've been going forever. But. not going to like open it or anything okay. interesting choice well that's how we lose that guy potentially <clears throat> I don't want to inspect the elevator because I don't want them to like get back in it. But yeah, let's get out of here and then go back up and then we'll die or something. What's up? I am playing House of Ashes again. Um. Trying to beat it. You don't teach us anything at school. It's something. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. I am playing House of Ashes, trying to get through it. Feels like I should really be coming towards the end, but um, I've been streaming for an hour and fifteen minutes. But I just got my like. I think probably my last kickback to the like the curator. That they do in between chapters. <sighs> Boobs have been hurting. I'm kind of like hoping that I beat this soon so I can like lay down or something because they need a wreck uh, a wreck they need a rest really nothing to investigate huh I don't like it when there's you know I think there should always be something Really? There we go.
children screaming outside my window. I still feel like... No, we opened that and it was empty. Okay. Always fun try This guy, I'm gonna... Is there really nothing on him? Okay. Alright. Just making sure. Y'all want to watch some old timey bullshit? Because here we go. This was old lady Fractures game. She knew all along was down here. She led us to them. I found them alone. Hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Witt. As she turned to face me, I saw what she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find. Iron Tentapig. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died, and holy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release. Give me a boost. Thanks, pal. This is a Metroid shit. Now I want to play Metroid. Let's play Metroid later. <laughs> That's actually what I was going to do. I was going to play Metroid Dread. Because I bought it on like day one. Played like part of the tutorial, turned it off and never turned it back on again. And since I'm being Zero Suit Samus for Halloween, I feel like I'd have to play Metroid Dread. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we have made. Then all I have left is for After my wife. Let's do it. Let's get to know each other. That's cool. Thanks. See you around. It's almost like they speak a different language in this country. <clears throat> 
groceries. Damn, <laughs> that's that's real high. <clears throat> Are you fucked up? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make it. something happen. She has a mind. We go inside there and we find a way to her. Damn it. Those fucking things track the fuck with us. They try to kill us. You and I, we're both dead. Stop believing the plan. We're gonna get out of here and see this thing. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Uh -huh. So, does that have to make me a marine too? Let's not get into our huh? Okay. Hey. Best friends! That's better. We'll do that together. Yay! Adorable. Now let's watch one or both of them die. <sighs> yep, that's Metroid. That's just Metroid. Jesus, we went down like a thousand feet? Or three thousand feet? Yeah, it's not vampire shit. This is like alien shit. Well, there you go. Don't step on shit. Didn't you ever watch fucking Stranger Things? It's a hive mind. Don't step on the tentacles. <laughs> um, yes. Definitely appropriate to congratulate me. Thank you. I'm assuming that you mean because it's my two-year anniversary of my name change? Um, yeah, that's a big milestone. It's a huge pain in the ass, too. Um, changing your name is not fun. It's hard to find a new name. It's hard to tell everybody that you're going to change your new name or change your name. It's hard telling everybody that... They need to call you by your new name, and then actually going through the court process of it all, and filing all the paperwork, and you gotta do all this bullshit with just, ugh. It was a pain. And I did it during COVID, so like, I couldn't just like walk in somewhere and be like, hey, I need some help with this. I had to do it all online, um, which is another huge pain. I, I got divorced during COVID too, all online. That was just as annoying god I want to play Destiny or I want to play Metroid sitting here and looking at this um, but I was also thinking about the new Call of Duty and how fucking gorgeous it looks um, can I just walk over to that there's something sparkling over here right am I not
These things made God? Yikes. I'm enjoying this twist. I wasn't expecting the weird alien twist. I think this is actually very cool. They made it so obvious that it was going to be vampires and like, just kidding, weird alien shit. Hi dog. My dog's visiting. Hey, if you can weasel yourself through the, the legal shit, that's awesome. I could have gotten some waivers to do fewer things. <clears throat> and then, once you get your name changed, I had to do Social Security, and Social Security was closed down because it was during COVID as well, so they had me actually literally mail my driver's license to them, and they had my driver's license for like a week and a half, and they had to like do stuff. But I kept... I didn't know that because I couldn't speak to anybody and I kept corresponding through mail so I would like mail them stuff and they'd mail me things back and they'd mail them stuff they'd mail me things back and they were finally like look we need your actual driver's license in an envelope and sent to us so I was like okay that's weird um, his claws moved a little bit ago Why would you touch it? Why wouldn't you? No, don't touch it. I like how this game allows you to not do things. Thanks. <laughs> Can you tell that they're new? Because I kind of can't. They look kind of the same to me. I can feel it. I certainly, they feel like new boobs, but I don't know if they look any bigger. What am I even looking at? No thanks. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, I mean, this shirt, the shirt is, um, a, it, it helps <laughs> in emphasizing. Like, even just my hands, like, it's a full hand, only goes, like, underneath. So, yeah, I mean, but I don't know. They were always pretty big, so it's hard to really tell. And that's only five, like if this, you know, if you do find this noticeable, which I'm kind of on the fence about, that's only 500 more cc's. Um, so, yeah, just imagine when I go up another thousand or two or three. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <clears throat> Hmm. 
So what makes you think that stabbing him in the brain would... I mean, he's been alive with half a brain all this time anyway. <sighs> Don't step on those things. I kind of have to now, right? There's no way around it. Ah. <clears throat> um. Mustered the courage to make an appointment for a breast augmentation. And it was canceled for supply chain? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I wouldn't put it past the way the world has been lately. Um, but that sounds crazy. Come on, I don't want to step on these anymore. <laughs> I mean, everything's on short supply. Everything's terrible um wow okay that's crazy i'm sorry to hear that i was kind of worried um that i wasn't gonna be able to get my hands on the antibiotic that you know they give you for surgery because i had heard that there had been um you know shortages on amoxicillin and stuff and i don't think it's amoxicillin that they give me it's called Augmentin, but I don't know what the, you know, technical, if it's amoxicillin or penicillin or some sort of other cillin. Um, but yeah, I was kind of paranoid about that because when I went down last year to have my second boob job, um, I could not get my hands on painkillers. There were shortages of painkillers everywhere. And I was really freaking out. because so I was just like, how am I going to get through this without painkillers? I can't imagine doing this and last time was really bad I was in a lot of pain um, this time I got my painkillers without well actually I did have an issue but didn't even use them I didn't use any of my prescriptions this time except for my um, antibiotic The fuck is lighting down here and shit? Stop stepping on those. Okay, good job. Wow. So my expander shells are only a thousand and twenty cc's. Um, I know there's bigger ones out there. You can, I think, you know, there's like twenty five hundred cc shells out there, which is what I wanted, but my surgeon does not do those. So. I just went, oh, come on. Surgeon doesn't do those. Um, she just uses the 1020. So I had asked and asked, asked twice and in person if she can get bigger shells. And she was just like, no, we use these. And I was like, whatever. She kept assuring me, you know, she's like, they can be filled. You know, it, it'll be okay. I have patients that are, you know, like 6,500 cc's or more, but I'm thinking like, well, that's all fine and dandy, but I want more than 6,500 cc's. So, um, as much as I wanted this to be the last time I had to get my implant swapped out, odds are, um, in a few years, I will have to get new implants. But 
you know, expanders aren't meant to be left in you forever anyway. Even a normal breast implant needs to be swapped out, but expanders are even less um, permanent. So it's kind of okay. Because if I would have gotten 2,500 cc shells, I would have had those in me longer and would have been filling them for longer. So the idea that I will be swapping out my shells in a few years actually, while it's annoying, might be more beneficial for me anyway. <clears throat> it zoomed in, so like it wants to see something. Okay, guess not. There we go. I was hoping they would keep talking to each other, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, so if I want to get 2,500 CC, oh yeah, more than 6,500, yes, for sure. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm going for like records, you know? And as of right now, I think the trans girl with the largest boobs is 6,500 CCs. It's Juliet Stray. Um, then you got Jackie Hammers behind her. It's 5,000. There's a couple other trans girls, I think, that I don't really know as well. And I don't know their names, but they got to be in the 5,000 range or so. Um, but um, Juliet Stray can't do fills anymore. And Jackie Hammers um, Wow, where'd that guy come from? Uh, she doesn't have expanders. I mean, you gotta kinda know the details when you're trying to be a professional, a huge boob haver such as I, like I am. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think really expanders can go, you know, easily like 15 times size, or 15 times their size. So if I have a thousand cc shells, 15,000 cc's, which I would never ever um, fill an expander that much, not want, you know, I would want to get a, a larger shell before I overfilled by that much. But um, yeah, you know, like Foxy, um, she just hit 10,000, and you can see how huge hers are. Be shine, I have absolutely no idea how big her boobs are, but they're well over 10,000, I can tell you that much. Um, so yeah, but I think, you know, like I said, in the trans girl category, 6,500 is kind of the number to beat. And I'm at 2,300 now, I'm looking to maybe be able to grow a thousand cc's, maybe a little bit more a year. So we're looking at four years um, before I hit that 6,500. So I'll do what I can, you know, but uh, it, it's probably going to take some time. I'm currently 37. If I could hit my, you know, I don't know. Plus there's going to be other people who come along and they, you know, there's a lot of people getting expanders these days, um, both cis and trans women. I have no limit. You know, my, um, the, the implants are my limit. That's where me personally, I have none. Um, it's, you know, it's what I want to do basically for a living is, is have them and, you know, uh, just live life with them and post content on the internet with them and, uh, just have a lot of fun having enormous boobs for a living. That's oddly what I've been wanting to do for like, as long as I can remember. So here I am doing it now, but it's going to take a long time. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm limited by what the expanders and my body can do. So yeah, for real, I, I really am living the dream. Um, it's a crazy fucking dream too. It's about as likely of <laughs> that I pulled this off as would be to win the lottery. So much has gone into this. Um, yeah, it's been a hell of a... You think it's hard coming out to your family as, like, trans, you know. I had to do that, and then I had to come out to them as a person who wants to do these things now, too. It's been weird. 
And then it's expensive and it's painful and uh, all those things. We've been through this before. Well, good luck, you know, like hopefully your family is understanding and stuff. Um, I knew deep down that my family would be, but you know, you're always like thinking, what if this, like they've been supportive of me for like everything I've done. But at a certain point you're like, well, what if um, this is like the last straw? You know, like what if this is one step too far? And that worries you, but you have to just do it. Anyway, um, you know, I'm fucking 37 years old. I was 34 when I came out and stuff, so I'm old. I shouldn't have to worry about what my parents think. Um, you know, I've been living on my own since I was 18. So while I get along great with my family and they're all very supportive, um, they're not going to kick me out of the house or anything. You know, that's, that's not an option anymore. They could stop talking to me. They could no longer help me with things, but... You know, I had to just take that gamble that they were going to be cool, and, you know, they are. My um, my dad and my stepmom actually um, don't know what I had just had surgery for. They don't know all my plans with my boobs and stuff, and I don't think I'm going to tell them. They're just going to have to figure it out. My mom knows everything. Well, I'm just saying, you know, 36... I am. I, I'm try I'm making up for lost time. So yes, I'm coming after that title fucking hard. I am uh I'm putting in as much work as fast as I can. But yes, I was just saying that I'm old because I don't have to worry about when you're 36, 37, 35, whatever, you don't really need to you care about what your family and your friend or your, you know, parents think, but you're old and you're not a child anymore you can do what you want that's that's what I mean um, but you know I think a lot about like am I going to embarrass them you know like if my dad wants to go out to eat with me or something um, like I'm a six foot tall trans girl with the biggest boobs anyone in the room has ever seen that draws a lot of stares and you know while my you know, it's my decision and my life to live, but they are then involved in that when we are in public together. So, you know, they, they're part of this in ways. It's all unpredictable. Work with what we got. Have cues or shot. We can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope it's still back in touch. The bad players are coming with all their crew. You saw how many there were in that world. Could be thousands in there. We love them up. Burn them in those motherfuckers as we can and hit the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh. You don't know how to get to the surface, though. If you did, you would have gone there a long time ago. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, you know, you got relationships and stuff. So basically that's how mine ended, um, not to scare you or anything, but you know, there was a lot of chips that, you know, chipped away at my relationship and, um, I always knew that I was trans. I always knew that if I could do this, I would, but I was making like deals with myself where it's like, well, maybe if I just do this, 
me if I, you know, because so I, I first came out as bi. I was like, well, I, I told to my, at that time, my wife, now my ex-wife. Um, I was like, you know, I think I'm, I'm bi or whatever. And I was like, just sort of like testing the waters and trying to figure out what I could get away with and what would make me feel okay. You know, because I was like, well, I, I'm never going to transition, clearly. But maybe if I start living a little bit differently, maybe I won't feel so bad about never having transitioned. So I said I was bi. That was okay. Um, and then a few years later, I said I was gay. And that was like kind of the end of the relationship right there. And we basically separated. Um, we still live together. Um, we still get along and stuff. But it's just like, well, this isn't a functioning heterosexual marriage anymore. Um, and then I finally came out as trans after we were separated, you know, for a while. Um, so yeah, it was like these stages and it took so long. It took like 10 years, um, to like work up the courage and do the little baby steps to get to where I am now. And then I never thought that I was going to change my name. I never thought, Ooh, musical language of these creatures. Interesting. Anyway, um, took a long time to get to where I'm at. And yeah, it's, you know, me and my ex are still great friends. She's right there behind me in the other room. We still live together. We've been roommates. Oh, okay. Odd. Who are these people? Okay. So yeah, we still get along, but we are very much not married anymore. We actually only got divorced earlier this year because it's a pain in the ass to get divorced. So we put it off. Yep. I can completely agree with you on that. Now you got me talking. Um, but yeah, so coming out was one thing. I did it on... I told my parents the day before I came out online. I did it on like Facebook and stuff. But yeah, that was one thing. And then, you know, I was like, okay, I did it. I came out. I'm on hormones. Um... Because I was going to just get on hormones and tell nobody and just and wait until I needed to. Um, but then once I got on hormones, I was like, no, I want to progress this. So, <clears throat> yeah, I got on hormones and came out within like two months of each other. And then I never really thought I was going to change my name because I thought that my parents could be mad about that. Like, we gave you that name. How can you throw it back in our face or whatever? So I was scared to do that. But I think they were asking me. Um, if I was going to, so I was just finally kind of like, yeah, you know what? I am going to. So I did that, and then I was never going to get, like, a breast augmentation. I wasn't going to do that. And then one day I was just like, why? Like, why? I, I've already done all this other stuff. Why am I going to come this far and then just, like, stop before I get to where I want to be? So um, I had made, an, you know, did a consultation with the person that I always knew was going to do my boobs. And, um... I held back on size. I, um, you know, I didn't tell him the size that I actually wanted. So I got my 800cc implants, um, always with the intention of going bigger. I was going to do, we always knew I was going to do two. I wanted to do, be 1400 from the beginning. Um, but then after I made my first... Forgive me, I've sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing the stuff I don't want to light. Okay. Well, the dynamite is no good then. But yeah, so after I, in my initial email to my surgeon, I emailed them back being like, hey, actually, um, I want to go as big as I possibly can. And I wish I would have predicted that I was going to do this because I would have gotten expanders earlier. 
I could have gotten away with just two surgeries, maybe even just one. Instead, I got three. Three boob jobs in less than two years. Pretty crazy. And three years ago, I never thought I'd even get one boob job. Let me tell you though, expanders are crazy. You know, like I said I've had three boob jobs and this one was different. Okay, my dog wants to go out, so I'm going to let my dog out, and I'll be back to blab some more and play this game.
I'm back. I make terrible noises when I sit down because I'm disgusting. All right. Let me catch up on this chat here. Yeah, um, I wish that I would have, yeah, you know, my first two surgeries, I went as big as I could, you know, um, so I didn't, I didn't miss the mark there, I just kind of wish that I would have, um, known to go with expanders, but also, Dr. Revis, the surgeon I used, um, does not do expanders. So I was just, if he would have done them, I would have gotten them. Um, but he didn't. So, so I was just like, well, whatever. I'm good at 1800 cc's. This is fine. I'll stick here. Um, and then I want to say like, I don't know, nine months later, I, I contacted Dr. Revis about going larger. And he told me I could only hit 2,500 cc's. And I was like, well, I'm not having a third surgery and paying all that money and going through all that stuff only to go up 700 more cc's and just be stuck there. Like, that's three surgeries just to get to 2,500. Like, that's that's too much. Um, so I'm like, if I'm doing a third surgery, I'm going expanders. So if he would have told me that I could hit 3,000, which is kind of what I was looking for, I probably would have gone with him a third time and not gotten expanders, and that would have been not good, probably, because I would have wanted to keep going after 3,000. So I'm glad that um, he told me 2,500. And then Dr. Stokes, my new surgeon, um, she told me 2,500 as well, and I only hit 2,300. So, man, what if I would have gone with Revis, done a whole other surgery, and only ended up at 2,300 for, like, Ten thousand plus dollars, just to be stuck there and have to have, no. I'm so glad that I did what I did. Sorry. Sorry, I am in the middle of having to get caught up on text messages. Mom messaged me. Okay. Did I do this yet? I don't think I did. Yep. You got a parasite in you, my friend. We're going to cut it out of her stomach. Okay. Um kind of lost track of what I was doing. Have I done everything? I've talked to him already because he's not sparkly anymore. Um, I looked at that. Did I look at this? Probably. Yep, I did. That's the dynamite. Oh my god, I want a beer. Like, yeah. for real. Charter, you lost. Harry was a good man. He was.
Yeah. <laughs> you have a parasite in you that's waking up. Man, I forgot to take this garbage out. Okay. R2. This is like the most puzzle solving I've ever had to do in this game. Ominous. Well, if you're getting the expanders and you are getting um, 900 to 1,000 CC expanders, I mean, you're going to be in the same boat as me. We're going to be, you know, 6,500 or more. Um, so, I mean, if you're looking to be between 1,000 and 6,500, um, you are good to go. You know, you could just do one surgery. Sorry, I have hair in my mouth like crazy. Yeah. I'm going to eat this white phosphorus. <clears throat> Rachel. Rachel. Oh, she's having a bad time. Okay then. So when I said that this reminded me of Metroid, um, it wasn't too far off. I got some alien shit going on. Um, Sorry. What's happening? Should I do it? I'm not gonna do it. They came from this purse. This, this isn't real. It's, it's not. not. Do something! Turn into one of them! 
Killer? I don't know. I'm going to lose everybody. Because of what we saw happen before, I feel like the game... I feel like it's too obvious to kill her. You know? There was no saving Clarice. And I feel like she existed to tempt us to kill her. Yeah, you're gonna find it. You're, you're gonna have a hard time finding somebody who's willing to, um, you know, overfill. Doctor Revis is known for doing giant boobs, but even he doesn't do expanders. So, you know, you are voiding the living hell out of a manufacturer warranty by overfilling, uh, you know, implants like that. So, there are certain people whose game is to do just that, and that's why those surgeons exist, and that's why there's not that many, though. Like here in the United States, there are there's uh, there's one in Texas, there's one in Florida, and I think there's one in California, and those are like the three people. I don't even know if the guy in California is active anymore. So, if you want expanders in the U.S., you got to go to one of three places, maybe two. Um, if you're over there in Europe, then you should go to Belgium and go to the uh, the very aptly named BE clinic in Belgium. Um, I forgot the guy's name. But, yeah, that's where you want to go. Eric died a pretty unceremonious death. There you go. So yeah. You have like, you know, you have the same guy that fucking Foxy uses. Um, and all the biggest people out there. So, congratulations. You hit gold on your um, expanders surgeon. Color me jealous. Checking those charges go off. Call last year. Watch on our side. We 
more surprised these vampires are in this room. And that's probably where I'll end up. You know, if I ever outgrow my current shells, I will have to go there. Unless there's somebody else who pops up in America or, you know, Dr. Stokes starts using bigger shells. No, I would. Um, <clears throat> I would fly. It's just um, going to... Oh my god, the controls aren't inverted. I'm an inverted person. Why would you... Am I supposed to be looking out for something in particular? I mean, I'm gonna fly for my fill in December. But yeah, you know, it's just, I don't even know if I'm allowed in Belgium, quite honestly. I'm not allowed in Canada. So, the idea of getting on a plane and flying to a foreign country and doing all that, um, I would have loved to, but that just seemed out of reach when I could just go to Florida and just go right down the road from my previous surgeries. Plus, I've heard a lot of good things about Dr. Stokes, and so far I like her. She's a weirdo. She's a very eccentric lady, but in a good way. Oh, I forgot how to do this. The button can change, though. But it didn't, so cool. Ugh. Watch out for that X to not be an X anymore. Okay. Oh, it makes you think that like these cocoons are so flammable like this c4 isn't a nuclear bomb like it's not going to not going to do what you think Guess who's fucking going for it? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. What are warning him do now? There is no way out. 
What's the uh, what's the weapon in Fallout? Him putting the C4 right where I need to like look is really distracting. So many of them. His heart's real slow for um, all the work he's doing. Pretty chill dude. Hey there. It's a good thing they're all explosive. I wonder if there's any way to make it so he didn't die. He just didn't die. On the ground. So, like, this guy probably is responsible for making all the aliens into vampires? Break his arm off. Killed the head vampire.
This game is long. <clears throat> yeah, exactly that too. Um, well, they did say formaldehyde um, is what's like in these things, or it smells like formaldehyde. Formaldehyde's probably flammable, right? Why isn't... So many vampires. God, it's 6.30 and it's fucking dark as shit outside. I hate it. Goddamn right. If everybody dies, oh boy, oh boy. Um, all my favorite characters are gonna die. <laughs> Start googling blowing up from Aldehyde. Probably get put on some sort of list or something. Oh, fucking God, fuck. Jason! <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. So Rachel's still just in a cocoon in this burning cavern. You're still on like a 3,000 foot box on chains with flying guys. Dead. You get stabbed in the back. This game's starting to stress me out. <laughs> yeah, there's still like all kinds of them alive. They fly, they um, can do all kinds of things, and um, they just let that elevator go up. What is up? What are you doing? Oh, 
You. Awesome. Oh, I swear to God. Good enough. <sighs> and Salim is where? No fucking way. That's all you ever had to do in the very beginning. You were like 40 feet down when this game first started. You could have just climbed a wall or something. end please I want this game to end so I can relax just be done I lost so many people well no I lost what zero feet I only lost Eric Clarice couldn't be saved pretty sure on the floor. Fucking barely. Exhausting. How long does an eclipse last? Like, not that long, right? Like a minute? Wait a second! 
This game's fucking relentless. Don't lose that. Oh, God. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Come on. This is the closest thing to like a boss fight any of these games have ever had. Sunlight. I would spend the rest of my life traveling to places just to stay in the sunlight forever. I would just be like, nope, I'm just going to live on a plane that follows the sun around the earth. I never experience darkness again. I feel like shit.
Swear to God. I still don't believe that he's going to be okay. He's going to get shot by some American. People coming to pick him up or something, they're gonna shoot him. Something. Kinda of surprised it didn't happen. <clears throat> A lot of dead bats around. Hey, so uh, Rachel's still in formaldehyde cocoon in the basement of the earth. Three hours. I mean, I know I took some breaks, but two hours and 41 minutes. That's how long I was going today. Um, I think I've usually played two hours each time. This game had to be like eight, eight to ten hours, maybe? Only lost, wait. Singular. Just one. Thanks. It's going pretty well. Um, things still hurt. And I'm still kind of wore out. Um, today is my best day energy-wise. Alright. That's probably the best I've ever done in one of those games. Only lost one person. But yeah, recovery is going well. Um, everything hurts, but not bad. But everything's uncomfortable. Like, the sides of my boobs hurt. I have a lot of, um, just like from like here over. All of that um, hurts. And that's kind of a new one. I've never really had that. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Well, I guess this is still... Ha ha ha, airplanes. Yeah, I only can do that one, but I wasn't used to that one. I just had to break on my mom's floor. What's better? Can you answer? Right now, I need to do it. Who's that? Can you answer? Right now, I need to do it. Who's that? Can you answer? Right now, I need to do it. Who
Is this his fault that they all ended up there? He's fucking dead. They're going to have a preview of the next game on here, too. Having a bad time. I hope that if I skip to the end, it will show me the preview for the next game. Fingers crossed. You wanna know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone to see the fear in their eyes I wish I had a PlayStation 5 that premonition that we got that made no sense is a premonition from this game that's what you have to be an artist I've left my mark on the world have you Season one. They're just gonna keep doing this, huh? The devil in me, that's what it's called. I've heard it a thousand times and uh forget it every time. I love these games. I think they're fucking great. I love that this exists. I love that they created this anthology. So like fuck American Horror Story, this is better. <laughs> like it's more enjoyable and um 
It's just, I think it's better. I wonder how many uh, trophies I got for that. Obviously, you would need to go back and get all the collectibles and stuff. I wonder how I did. Collectibles. Let's see. So... Missed a few there. What did we miss down here? Oh, God, this is just nonsense. I don't even know how these work at all. Okay, so these are just like shiny things you find laying around. Okay. So yeah, I missed a good amount of those. Alright, so that's it. Just those two things. Okay. Really? This play... See, I don't find these games scary. Um, so, okay, so we had Man and Medine. Little Hope. House of Ashes. Devil and Me. Okay. And then, in addition to these anthology games, you have um, The Quarry and Until Dawn. Um, they're fun. I think this is a, a quality series that I don't know how well received it is. You know, like, I'm not sure um, if people really like this series or not. I just, I hope they do. I hope that it's appreciated, but I don't really hear anybody talking about it. I think, like, I'm the only one, and, you know, like, one of my friends that I've played these games with. That's kind of it. I don't really hear anybody else talking about the series, but I think it's very good. But, yeah, exactly. See? That's just, yeah, it, like, I feel like I'm the only one who talks about them. Um, you just don't, you don't hear them get mentioned. Even, like, it's October right now, you know? Like, these should be getting, like, pushed. You know, you see um, the Amnesia games and all the other, you know, Outlast comes up all the time. All these scary games come up all the time every October. Um... The other ones, there's two of them. They didn't come out too that long ago, um, but whatever. These games are perfect. You can you can hammer them out. Um, you could do like one a week, you know. Now there's four of them. It's like all right, Halloween. We're gonna play one anthology game a week or whatever. Like you and your friends get together and do it. Um, they're fun. Uh, they have their problems sometimes but overall they're great they're great party games they're great playing by yourself they're great uh streaming games although i feel bad for the audience when i'm streaming them because it's hard to you know for you guys to pay attention while i'm talking over it and if you come in in the middle of the stream it's like starting a movie in the middle so it's like meh but this is a series of one of the games yes well until dawn is not within yes super massive made Until Dawn first. And then they started the Dark Pictures anthologies. So it's the same people. But Until Dawn is outside of the anthology because it's a bigger game. Um, I don't know how long Until Dawn is, but let's find out, because I'm just curious. Um, also, I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with the website howlongtobeat.com, but it's great. It's actually built into Game Pass now. Like If you have PC Game Pass, when you look at a game, it'll have the how long to beat on there, um, which is awesome. Game Pass is awesome. Wow, okay. So this says that Until Dawn is eight hours. Main and extra is nine and a half hours. Completionist, 18 and a half. So you're going to cruise through Until Dawn in like nine hours. That's, that's surprising to me. Because um, I feel like that's what all these are. Okay, Man of Medan, it says, is five hours. Let's see what the quarry is. 
Like I have a friend who played. Corey says ten hours. Um, I have a friend who played through Until Dawn and got like every combination of endings you could possibly could have. Um, this is House of Ashes. This says it was seven hours ish, six to nine. Like I don't understand. I guess if you go back and try to find, I. So I streamed this game. I guess I probably streamed it three or four times, and I played about two hours each time, except for this last time. So yeah, I'm probably at nine hours for this. So this is probably much. These games are easy to, you know, unless you're just standing in a spot or run around in circles. You know exactly how long these games are going to take to beat because, unless you know you're walking backwards and trying to track down um, every single collectible and stuff. Scorn. I wanted to check that game out, but I heard it's terrible. Um, the new Plague Tale game came out. Um, there's a lot. Oh, yeah. Metroid Dread. Um, so I'm going to take the stream down and probably take a break, but I might see how I feel anyway. And I might come back and play Metroid Dread tonight. It's like I got nothing else going on. I'm not going to go out anywhere. I'm not going to do anything. Um, so... I might be here for a while. That's true, actually. You're not wrong. Um, I actually do need to kind of, like, stretch. <sighs> Boops are fun, but they're hard work. Yeah, anyway, that actually that felt good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the stream, and we'll come back, maybe, to play Metroid Dread, if I can keep things working. Um, so I'll see everybody later at some point, tonight or some other time. See ya, bye. Thanks for hanging out. You stuck it. <laughs> you, you really hung in there.